Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Tanmayi Pangaluri, current D2 student at NYU. Uh, just like any other aspiring student, uh, I even had that dilemma whether I have to uh, pursue my master's uh, before DDS or not. And after finishing my bachelor's, um, there's always a question whether to uh, be on visitor's visa, just come and clear my exams and try to do some uh, whatever opportunities are there during that time or give all in and do my master's for two years. Uh, uh, I was questioning as well which path to choose and there's no wrong or right, whichever path you choose. I have seen many uh, of the students who who are accepted into the dental school, who either um, chose to be on visitor's visa or who pursued master's. Um, but I chose to pursue my master's for a few reasons. And uh, let me share those with you. Uh, initially, uh, I think uh, doing master's gives us that experience uh, where we get exposure to US healthcare system. Uh, it, it really plays a very good role because it, we kind of, we tend to see uh, all the process in a different view when we pursue our masters. And uh, it's not mandatory that you should pursue masters only in public health, even though that is one of the most common option which is available for the dental students who are coming from different countries. There are a few other options as well, like dental public health and masters in oral biology as well. And uh, I would advise you to uh, search for different options, look into their fee structure, uh, their timelines and apply wherever is possible and which you are interested in, and that will be really helpful. And uh, I think masters also has given me an opportunity to overcome my language and communication barriers. Uh, everyone, when they're uh, transitioning from their home country, they'll slightly have an accent uh, or slightly scared to put our point of view among many other American students. But once you do masters, you will be having many classmates who are uh, Americans and who are from different countries as well. And that masters uh, two years of time will give you an opportunity to uh, overcome all those barriers. And uh, one more thing which uh, I felt is um, during these two or two and a half years of masters, I, there's enough time for you to build strong connections and network uh, because a network is really, really helpful in, in this country. And uh, when you build a strong network, you can talk to many of your peers who are in different states in the USA and you can ask them what are they doing and how you can uh, work towards your goal as well. And there are a few conferences which happen in certain months. And when you know those months, specific months, you can also go to, go to those conferences and build up some CE credits as well. And many has a, a belief or notion that uh, public health is something not really related to dentistry and how do we connect that to our application and all those. But uh, public health also has oral health component in it. And that is really one of the like healthy people 2020 goals uh, in terms of public health. So whatever assignments you have in public health or uh, towards the end of your uh, masters, you will be doing a capstone project. So during all these uh, times, whenever you were given an opportunity, always try to bring that dental component into your assignments or into your capstone project. I did the same. Uh, I chose a topic which um, where I had, where I was trying to connect both my dental and public health backgrounds to come up with a specific thesis project. And I'm successful in doing it. So I would advise all the upcoming students to try to think of such capstone projects. That way you will be uh, successful in doing your master's, completing the capstone or thesis paper. But at the same time, you can also uh, put that in your application and show them that you're working uh, simultaneously towards dental and public health goals. And uh, one more thing which I learned in my master's is uh, I took a generalized course uh, in public health. Uh, and I was, uh, I learned many different subjects like biostatistics, EPI, uh, and also IRB process, uh, which is Institutional Review Board when you when you're planning to do any research and uh, ethical dilemmas and many other things like new softwares, R Commander, SPSS, 
all these seems to be pretty new and when we come from a different country but all these things are very basic here and uh, and many of uh, already current pursuing dds students uh, might have had experience with uh, statistics or ep or ethical dilemmas in somewhere in their undergrad or regular high school level uh, whereas we did not have such chance to learn those subjects at In, back in our home countries so masters really gives you an opportunity uh, where you can explore those and learn about those uh, I, i think uh, doing my masters has helped me uh, even in nyu when i'm pursuing this d2 year uh, because we have a special subject called uh, behavioral sciences and uh, i th- uh, i had a very strong basis in my public health on that subject and that really helped me and i'm very easily navigating through the course uh, in this semester whereas many of my co students uh, who did not had any experience with that subject are really struggling so uh, uh, it's it's little hard um, in terms of uh, money time and effort to pursue masters but i feel at the end it is really helpful uh, because uh, it really gives you a different and a uh, better perspective of everything uh masters also gives you enough time frame where you can really do uh, uh or participate in many volunteering and shadowing opportunities uh you should be looking for various opportunities around you and uh, also there are many public health conferences happening so you can always go there and you can present your topics and adding all those points which you did in this two or one and a half years of masters when you put all those in your application it it really makes a very strong application and a uh, few uh, many international students are really worried about their gpa because of various other reasons so if you have a slightly low gpa and if you want to uh, be a strong applicant uh, i would advise you to pursue masters and when you really uh, graduate with a high gpa in your masters level that really shows that uh, to the admissions committee that you are a capable student who really survived in the us uh, educational system and you will be reciprocating the same when you are in the dental school as well so it just gives uh, the admissions committee uh, a tinge or hint letting them know that you are capable student uh, again it's not mandatory that you should be pursuing masters um, it's just in my opinion that it will give you a better holistic knowledge thank you